us today? We are group number three, and we're going to do the presentation for a robot design class. Our team member is uh, uh, Giovanni uh, Cardona and myself, Ramon Duran. Uh, 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 the name of our project is a robotic application for uh, automatic board collectors. This is the piece of equipment or a design that built. We do a lot of research and uh, probably it's something compatible with that, but uh, this, is not, this is something that never has been uh, designed. Also, the application is a tremendous application in the industry and the sport also. Uh, the, the object of our, of our project is to collect a determined amount of ball, in this case, or an object. Uh, also, uh, the, robotic, the robot has to finish the job in certain period of time and also uh, he's going to transport the, the, all the collected ball uh, or, the, or whatever to a particular place and after that you're going to drop it over there. My uh, colleague, uh, your high note, your first one. Now, in terms of motivations, uh, this kind of, div of div uh, device can be applied in different fields like sports, uh, toys. Uh, also, we wanted to because do something we, we believe is an original and innovative uh, way of utilizing sensors to perform a certain uh, function is economic and easy to reconstruct and also the cost benefits is very favorable for users. In terms of challenges, uh, we encountered some. The, the main one was how to make uh, a low cost product with a lot of functionality, also how to integrate different, different electronic elements into a one single device. And finally, how to get a design response from, from the from the The attachment for the motor, you can see. All the the hardware that was used, and also we have infrared sensors on the bottom to detect when the ball passes through the through the rover through the bottom. We have ultrasound sensors. We have two of them: one to to detect the balls, and one to detect the walls. Also, since by using both, this one's going to see the balls and the wall, and this one's only going to see the the wall. So I know the distance from these two. So when I put the an obstacle here or, or a group of balls, it's gonna know it's balls and it's gonna go for it. If it is a wall, it's gonna measure the same distance and it's gonna turn away from it. This is the software. The, we use the basic stam version 2.5, and on the next slide, say sample code. No. Okay, so. So for logic, basically what we wanted to do with this device, basically, first of all, the, the, the try to find the walls around to, to find each location. Then it's going to try to detect different objects. It's going to go for, for them. Um, it's going to find once we have, we have a counter here, so we're, we're able to measure how many balls we're able to actually carry on the, over the device. And then he's going to try to find the shortest uh, path to a, to a station to drop all the all the balls and the, the loop is gonna start over again. This is the the code that I was talking about. Uh, this is a section, it's not the whole and code. You can see for example the sort of the conveyor belt, the drive routine for the platform. And it says IR program, this is a program for controlling the um, but this is mainly like Okay, so as I, explained, as I explained before, the concept basically is we have the device, it's going to go into a certain space, let's say a tennis court, it's going to go, it's going to try to start looking for balls, so it's going to go, it's going to, the, we're going to go inside of the, of the device, then he's going to check, he's going to check if there is more around, so he's going to start looking for them, it is full, 
bolts. It's gonna try to find the show hat to the drop off station, and it's gonna deliver all the all the bolts. I want to show a little short uh, video of the robot performing its function. As you can see here, the, the robot, it first starts going into the court and then it starts searching. I have, due to time constraint, I put the balls like close to it to not make it like very long video. And the video, you can see, it picks up the ball. And then goes to another, the other one. Bounces off the, uh, the walls a little bit higher. And that's a video. And that's like a lot of out. As I explained to you in the beginning, this I never have been developed. Uh, certainly. There is a lot of uh, further uh, implements on this equipment. Uh, we we have to integrate in the IR. We already have it over here, so we have to be a little bit more. Uh, uh, Got to be in, in much better position, you know. Also, has to be integrated GPS in that way. The equipment that he can be, he he knows the area, so he can, all the area, and it's going to help them. And uh, also the motion, as you're gonna, we're gonna test it in a few minutes. You're gonna see that the motion is very slow. It's not very slow, but the mechanism over here is kind of slow, you know. So we have to develop a faster system, you know. And also uh, uh, we have to uh, uh, develop also a self-charging system. Uh, this is something that is not so complicated, but this is uh, again, this is a project that we uh, we're looking to. Uh, go, I mean, move forward in the future to uh, develop few things that we need. This concludes our presentations and now we're going to show a very short demo. This is a